Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. I am Nina and I am back with another video. Today we're going to talk about the keywords that I'm going to need you to start using to let this person know that the date is on them, okay? Um, there's really no reason to get into a discussion about it if you use these keywords and I'm going to give examples of how I use them and how I advise other ladies um, who are getting success in dating to uh, phrase their words and sentences. Then you'll understand how to use that for yourself. And if you stick to uh, the end of the video, if you stay till the end of the video rather, I will also be sharing some keywords that you need to look out for when you are interacting with um, your potential dates so that you understand what it is that they're actually offering and you're able to make a decision on whether you want to carry on with that or you want to walk away. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. I have my notes over here. So if you see me looking down, you'll know why. I just want to make sure we get everything in this video. Okay, so my first keyword is going to be the word date. Okay, the word date already implies that you are going to be treated to a date right it already implies that the person who's asking you out is going to take care of the experience and it also implies that it's going to be a good experience okay so the word date for me is definitely a go-to anytime somebody suggests some sort of coming together i will always seal the deal by saying oh so you want to take me on a date and I will put the question out there in a very bubbly, excited kind of way. I mean, not so excited like it's the first time you've ever gone on a date, but you know, oh, so you want to take me on a date? That puts the question out there very clearly, but it also lets the person decide if that's what they want to do. And it's going to be very clear to this person what the implication is okay it's not something you have to discuss or debate and um they their uh response to that is also going to either be a thumbs up for you or a thumbs down um <clears throat> but that kind of cuts to the chase so that you're not kind of asking yourself okay is this a platonic thing or whatever you know if you put it out there that it's a date then we already know who's picking up the tab right and ladies on that vein just make sure that you don't you're not the one initiating the meeting okay make sure that it's something that he is doing um, you may nudge him in that direction. So for example, somebody who's texting all the time and, you know, when they ask you, what are you doing or what are you up to or whatever? Oh, nothing. Just waiting on you to ask me on a date. Smiley face or some cute, um, emoji that's not too excited. Just smiley face, right? Um, then if he asks you on a date, you see the ball is in his court, even though you kind of put it out there, okay? So you have to be careful with how you interact and what words you use and what um, message you're putting across because that's going to set up the premise of what it is that you guys are moving forward into, okay? So, <clears throat> word number one is date. Word number two is treat, you know. Um, so, if you're not going to use the word date or if you have used it, but you just kind of want to re-emphasize or maybe as you're working out the details, 
use the word treat. Oh, so where do you want to treat me to? Where do you want to treat me to? Oh, this is such a treat. I haven't been on a date in a while. You know, make it something, once again, it has to be sweet. It has to be playful. You're really not trying to manipulate a person. You're just setting the premise and he's opting in when because they, they already know ladies right so if he opts in then he's saying yes i am treating you right so that's another key word and i really like that word because it not only refers to a date you can use it in so many different contexts you know if someone spoils you with a gift a trip or whatever you know you could use that to show not only that you're excited but once again to re-emphasize that this is on them okay now ladies you have to be sweet i i talk about getting into your feminine energy a lot on this channel and i recently made a video that i will link up here about that getting into your feminine energy is so important because if you do these things and you don't have an authentic feminine energy oozing through you a, a real feminine excitement about it okay then it's manipulation because then you're just controlling somebody making them do what you want them to do but it's from a place of you know like a puppet master instead of a genuine excitement right and men can sense that and if he's really interested in you you know that genuine authentic feminine energy that's going to be coming out of you is really going to be magnetic and attractive to him but if it's something that's very superficial that's just put on then he's probably going to be able to sense it and it's probably going to make him pull away so you know make sure that you are coming with uh you're coming from your feminine essence when you do this okay and then the third word is the word special okay so this is similar to treat this is just showing the person that you're excited that you're appreciative and that this is a highlight for you right and if it's a highlight for you then you know that automatically um almost counts as a gift from this person and if it's a gift well <laughs> that's what it is right so use the word special as well and all three of these words yes use them clearly be articulate um when you're saying what you're saying but don't overdo it because then it's just it's tacky okay so use them sparingly but make sure they are at the tip of your tongue make sure they're on your vocab make sure that any time somebody wants your time your attention you know something from you because remember men they also have like um a little uh, counter in their head and it's numbers for them right he may be attracted to you specifically but he's attracted to a lot of people in a day and he approaches as many as he can in a day right so keep that in mind it's a it's a counter and as much as that person is counting and you're in that number if you opt in make sure that you don't get swept in their you know current make sure that you have your direction that you're going in as a feminine woman and make sure that you're able to influence this man to go along with you so that you're not just part of his agenda okay i also make a video about that if you don't have a plan for your dating life he has a plan and he's hoping that you don't have a plan because then that's when his plan is going to work the best right okay so let's move into the keywords to look out for with men okay so the first one 
I'm gonna look out for is okay it's a it's a key phrase more like it um we're we're all grown-ups okay when a man says we're all grown-ups that only means one thing there's something that he wants that grown-ups do together okay and this is almost like a guilting tactic because um, it kind of implies that, you know, if you don't want to do the grown up thing, that maybe you're childish or you're um, in denial about what grown ups do or you're um, a prude and you're stuck up. It's just reverse psychology, basically. And when you hear this, for me, it's always um, a red flag because. There's nothing wrong with someone wanting a certain type of interaction, but there's definitely something wrong with somebody trying to guilt somebody else into doing something that they probably don't want to do, right? Um, why would a person say this if you were also not on board, right? If you were on board with we're all grown ups, then they wouldn't have to say it, but they have to say it to pull you out of your. Mm, that's not reading my scene into feeling bad and saying okay well i guess you're right or you know whatever so when you hear that um you have an option just like he has an option to opt in or opt out when he hears your keywords you have the option to opt in or opt out when you hear we're all just growing ups right you could negotiate and debate and you know until the cows come home you could give in, you could walk away, or you could just put your keywords out there. I'm not interested in all of that. I am interested in dating. So if you want to meet me, you can take me on a date. You can treat me to a nice, you know, experience. And maybe we can get to know each other like that okay once again you're being feminine you're being firm and you're being aware and you're communicating to him that i see where you're going with this i'm not going to criticize you i'm just not going to go there with you and whether the person and you decide to walk your separate ways or whatever you haven't tainted his dating experience and what he's looking for you haven't allowed him to taint your dating experience and what you're looking for. You're able to walk away with your femininity and, you know, dignity intact. And he's able to walk away with his desires and his dignity intact. And probably a level of respect for you, whether he'll admit it or not, okay? But there's really no reason to try and lecture somebody or change them because then you're employing the same tactics as they are of guilting somebody into your lifestyle okay so we're all just grown-ups mm. okay the other one you know would be if you talk about a date some guys are pretty slick and can come back with something like oh okay your place or mine or i'll cook for you or let's get some wine and cook together or you know something really low effort and it's not just about the low effort which is already a red flag but it's also about look ladies dating it, you don't want to cross certain boundaries with strangers okay and the safety factor is there you know but also the awkwardness factor is there you don't want to be in someone's house and you know you're ready to go home and he's not ready to let you out um you don't want to have someone in your home you're ready for them to leave and they're not ready to leave things are awkward you don't want to have those type of situations you'd rather be in a public place where if you felt like okay i'm ready to get out of here all you needed to do is just get up and walk okay and there are people that you could go to, you could change locations, you could literally get lost in the crowd and, you know, 
disappear if that's what you needed to do i'm just saying you'd rather be in a public place where other people are able to see and witness your interaction from beginning to end to a degree rather than a private place because a private place immediately when you opt into that that gives a certain idea to this person it does not mean that you have to do things or that you've automatically given consent but it's just why go through all of that hassle where you could just go to a public place and certain conversations won't even need to happen okay another one close to this is that netflix and chill lifestyle that's not a date it does not count okay um and then lastly which is going to be my bonus tip and i'm going to share how to counter this so make sure you have your notebooks ladies <laughs> lastly do you want to meet for drinks or a coffee now this sounds decent okay it sounds decent because you're going to be going to a cafe or a bar you know somewhere public and if you're dating for the first time in a very long time i would say you know by all means go for it okay but for me i personally do not believe in drinks or coffee dates because i feel like once again you know um you have to think about the counter that men ha have in their minds okay if you're going to captivate this man on any level you know um you have to pull him out of his usual routine so if he's used to getting a whole bunch of people's numbers and then maybe meeting 50 percent of them for a coffee or a drink and why do they uh select a coffee or a drink by the way because it's a quick low investment if they decide they don't like you after one drink that's okay they can call it a day one two drinks it's cool coffee there's only so much coffee you're going to have right so after one or two cups you're all good okay so you don't want that because after you're gone three or four other people can come in for two more drinks each also right and that's just a tuesday for that man okay so what you want to do is when he offers you oh you know we should meet up for coffee we should meet up for drinks just go into a date scenario and respond with i would usually respond with oh lunch sounds great oh dinner sounds great oh a date sounds great okay i made a video on learn to ignore a man i will link it up here sometimes you just need to ignore what he is offering you and almost pretend like you heard something different to let him know that this is what you'll entertain once again you're being feminine about it you're saying what it is that you're saying you're you're putting it out there but you're not being forceful and um emasculating about it you're not being masculine about it you're actually being very feminine sweet and playful about it and a lot of men will actually laugh at that oh okay and they'll even be um amused and Im i don't want to say impressed but yeah men are impressed by us that's why they ask us out on dates and stuff um but he'll he'll think oh okay this is right she's she's pretty sharp and witty and whatever it is that he thinks about you and if he's really interested in you it's going to be something that he actually likes right even if it kind of takes him aback but if he's not interested in you it's immediately going to tell him step away step away i'm not willing to make that big of an investment and that's really what you want when you're dating you want to be able to get rid of those that are not even going to put in the effort from the beginning you want to get rid of them very quickly 
and only keep those around that are actually going to make some sort of effort for you because as you date and you know uh you start getting serious with you know um these people you only want to have people that already from the beginning were willing and able to do what you wanted okay um it's going to be very difficult to get a man to do something six months down the line that he never had to do in the beginning all right so make sure you are mindful of that when you are dating um you know help them bring out their best <laughs> um you know stay in your femininity and you know invite them up to that level those that are willing to meet you there will those that aren't um let them you know go in and 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 go their own way and let somebody else who's able to do the things come through and make it happen okay i'm gonna leave you over here ladies let me know what you think about this video have you heard some of these keywords from men have you used some of these keywords on men how has it worked for you let me know down below are there more keywords that you use to get what it is that you want um and still stay feminine let's have this conversation <laughs> okay and i will definitely see you beautiful ladies in the next one and remember to stay feminine bye